Hi, hello and welcome back to the Daily Bible Reading Show. We are in Hebrews chapter 12 and let me read you verse 18. Uh, this is verse 18 of Hebrews 12. You have not come to a mountain that can be touched and that is burning with fire to darkness, to gloom and storm. Describing this kind of like a volcano, you know, storm and fire. You can't touch it otherwise you, you burn up yourself. To a trumpet blast or to such a voice speaking words that those who heard it begged that no further word be spoken to them. So this is a specific mountain talking about Mount Sinai, the mountain of God. Um, after the Exodus, the people of God were brought to the mountain of God. I think this is Exodus 19, I think. <laughs> um, but it was scary, you know, scary for them to see this mountain, but even more scary to hear God speak to them in this thunderous voice from this mountain that they begged, you know, we don't want to hear this anymore because it's, it's scary. Because, verse 20, they could not bear what was commanded. If even an animal touches the mountain, it must be stoned. You must throw stones at it and, and you know, kill this, this animal because it's touched God's holy mountain. How much more you? You can't go near this mountain. The sight was so terrifying that Moses said, I am trembling with fear. And it's describing just how holy God is and how scary it is for us as sinful creatures to come into contact, to come into close proximity with this God and with this God's word, this God's holy word. But he begins by saying, you've not come to this kind of mountain, this, this kind of situation where you should be afraid, where you should be terrified of God's judgment uh, that comes to us through his holy word to sinful creatures like me, like you. Yeah, you have not come to this, but instead, verse 22, you've come to Mount Zion, to the heavenly Jerusalem. So um, Mount Zion is the mountain where the temple was built, the city of the living God. It's where Jerusalem was built, the capital was built. You have come to thousands upon thousands of angels in joyful assembly. So yes, there was this physical mountain, but this is the heavenly mountain talking about God's presence itself surrounded by angels in heaven. So you've come to that. That's the access that we have now as Christians to God that is direct, but it's also heavenly, <laughs> um, surrounded by angels. To the church of the firstborn whose names are written in heaven, you've come to God, the judge of all men, to the spirits of righteous men made perfect to Jesus, to Jesus. And it's emphasizing that by coming to Jesus, you've come to God, that by coming to Jesus, you won't be destroyed by God's holiness. To Jesus, the mediator of a new covenant, mediator just means a middleman. So he, 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 is, he brings us into God's presence. He's the middleman between us and God, but he brings us closer to God through himself, through this new covenant, and through the sprinkled blood that speaks a better word than the blood of Abel. The blood of uh, Abel, how do you explain this? Uh, uh, Abel, Cain and Abel, this is back in Genesis 4, Cain killed uh, his brother Abel. And I think God said something about the blood of, of Abel. Uh, this is verse 10 of chapter 4, Genesis. What have you done? Listen, your brother's blood cries out to me from the ground. So he killed him, and then his blood goes in the ground and it seeps in the ground, but the blood is crying out, <laughs> crying out against Cain, his murderer, against his brother saying, vengeance, you know, God, you know, avenge me, destroy this person who killed me. And Jesus, when he died, he spilled his blood as well. But his blood also says something, speaks something to God, a word that is better than this word of judgment, this word of salvation. It says, forgive them, forgive them. Though we are sinners, though we, in a sense, through our rebellion, have rejected Christ the same way those who killed Jesus on the cross rejected him, and Jesus' blood could have said, you know, judge them, you know, destroy them. Jesus' blood actually says, forgive them. 
love them, accept them, bring them into your presence. And, you know, it's comparing two different ways for you to see God. You know, uh, both are kind of true. You know, we are sinners. We are, we are standing before a holy God. We do deserve to be judged and destroyed by fire. But in Jesus, we are forgiven. We do hear this word that speaks to us, this good news of his death for our sakes, his forgiveness that brings us into his presence. And he says, that's what you have. Um, that's, the, that's the relationship that you have with God right now as Christians through Jesus Christ. And so um, the call here is to listen to this word, to hear it, to receive it, and to come to God, to know and to almost see God in heaven calling you to himself through the word of the blood of the Lord Jesus Christ. Um, yeah, uh, I was just listening, by the way, to an interview with uh, Ginny Boy. Uh, it's, uh, he, he's an influencer, but he's also an OG radio personality who went into YouTube, he went into filmmaking. He, uh, if you're not Malaysian, you won't know who I'm talking about, but if you're Malaysian, you know, he's a really big deal. And just before I paused uh, the interview, he was talking about internet trolls, about how people who will always find that cheap shot, you know, who always point out that flaw, and you know, you kind of get affected by that. And sometimes when we don't know that word of forgiveness, we've never heard that good news, we too will only ever speak those words of judgment. And actually, the gospel is a better word. A word that says to us who know that we are sinful, we are wrong, you have been forgiven. And what, what a difference that makes, you know, if the kind of words that you hear every day from those who really matter to you are words of love, words of forgiveness, words of restoration, and words of God. And that's what we have in Jesus Christ. And that's what he wants us to hear. And that's what he wants us to respond to. To this offer of salvation, this offer of love, this offer of God in the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ. Heavenly Father, thank you so much that we have this better word that comes through the cross, through the blood of the Lord Jesus Christ. Help us to hear it, to receive it, to respond to it with faith, with repentance, with trust in Jesus and Jesus alone. Pray this in his name. Amen. Shh.